So Stephen, my final question for you is, in terms of creating content, we know that these days a recruiter, when they check a resume, they will go on LinkedIn, check them out, and they want to know more about the person. And creating content is one way to show about your expertise and what you should be known for. But for some people, it's still creating content. They are afraid or they don't know where to start. Do you have any tips how they can start? Yeah, absolutely. Everybody has knowledge to share. Yeah. So when you talk about creating content on your LinkedIn profile or other channels, think about where you're at in your career and how could you add value to others? Mm -hmm. And it's very common to be like, oh, I'm new. I don't have any value to add. I don't know anything. I'm not smart enough. Yeah. Those are your inner psyche telling you something just to distract you from what you add value. Like you yeah. are important. You have a lot of interesting things to share. So what I would recommend for anybody looking to create content in any stage in their career journey, there's a few things you can do. Mm -hmm. One, show updates about what you're working on and kind of where you're at and ask for feedback. Two, what have you been learning in your journey? Like, are there specific people that maybe posted something awesome or you're like resharing? I learned this thing from this other well-known person or thoughts. Like, what are you learning? And then how are you sharing what you just learned for mm -hmm. people who might not have seen it yet? So you're extending somebody else's network through yourself. Yeah. And a third way is just asking questions to the community. So where do you feel stuck? Where do you feel alone? Where do you feel like you want help or support to lift you up? Yeah. I don't recommend turning your social platform into a rant, right? So yeah, sure. You can create plenty of content kind of ranting or complaining that doesn't mm -hmm. usually lead towards a positive yeah. first impression sure. to potential employers. And they're like, oh, this person just seems angry all the time. Yeah. <laughs> right? So use your LinkedIn profile or whatever social channel you're using as a space to share mm -hmm. knowledge, uplift and ask for guidance. Yeah. That allows other people to see that you're somebody who's of service and wanting to help so they can kind of see that relationship build together beyond oh, this person just has a lot of feelings. Yeah, I, I totally agree with you. I tell my clients or the students I'm helping have a have a strategy have a have a uh, excel sheet that every, everything you're doing let's say monday mornings at 10 o'clock you're making 10 comments on tuesday maybe you are creating content if you don't know how to start you can even on linkedin uh, put an article and see what other people are posting and reshare those posts or right. you can go on google and as you mentioned trends okay what are the trends in design thinking these days there will be a lot of them read one of the article and say this is the article i read this is my finding and then hashtags and tag some people and maybe wednesday take it off and then that's how you have constantly creating but it has to be consistent it cannot just be like i need to create something today and then forget three weeks and then create something it has to be consistent to, to share and even joining groups on linkedin that's related to your uh, uh, industry can be a great way because you are in the same thing you can ask the question as you've mentioned and even in the comments part i feel that that's also a good way to connect with people and build relationships right absolutely yeah absolutely like being able to not just post and run away yeah. But you want to like it, it's a network to communicate and engage in a social way. Yeah. So add value, add comments to other people's posts, add comments to people who comment on yours. Like don't just expect people to read from you without you making it a mutually beneficial exchange, which is hopefully you adding value to them also. Those are great tips, Stephen. And with that, my interview comes to an end. It was very practical and direct points. And I hope the audience listening, they watch all the videos or you can go back and watch them and share your thoughts. And you can reach out to us if you have any other question. And tune in next time for other great guests I'm preparing for you guys. And again, Stephen, thank you very much. And let's keep in touch. Bye, everyone. You're welcome. Thank you.